Listen, pay no attention to the fact that my videos keep ending right at the most emotional part of it. This is this is just my luck. Maybe I'll even record a new version of this whole thing. But what I was trying to say was, is that what about me has changed? I'm I'm basically the same person. I I mean, when you look at my circumstance, I haven't changed. My I still have all the health problems that I had before. I don't need to go into everything. I still have all the financial problems that I had before. It it, it gets even worse. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be destitute financially, probably, you know, I'm probably, uh, you know, going to have to go bankrupt again. Um, you know, and relationship wise, uh, my, my ex-wives are still my ex-wives. My, my kids are still my kids. My, my family, my, my sis, my, my parents are gone, but my sister is still my sister. My brother is still my brother. I, how many how many things about me have changed? I, I put on I put on a wig. Really, is that it? And I, I've decided that I'm I'm going to I'm going to be this new persona. You know, me, me, you know, if other people coming in and looking at my life, other people looking at my life, what has changed? What's changed? Nothing. Virtually nothing has changed. But I realize I realize now that I thought I was empty. I thought I had nothing. I thought I had no value. I thought... I thought that if I was gone, that the world would improve, that I wouldn't cause additional harm, that, that everything that I'm, everything that I'm doing is, is doomed to failure and, and destruction and and poison that that I'm poison trying to be a man. And then I realize now that I am I am worthy. I'm loved. That I have value. That I have love. I have love inside me. I have love for everybody. I have love. I have love for the people that love me. I have love for the people that hate me. I have love for the people that couldn't give a shit about me. I have love for people that need me. I have love for the people that don't need me. I'm, I'm rich. I have these storehouses of love and of information and of experience. I can give that. I can, I can talk to the people that are unhappy and say, look, I know you're unhappy. I was unhappy. I can talk to the people that are desperate and tell them I was so desperate. And then in an instant, in an instant, it all turned around. It's possible. It's so possible. Why didn't I believe? I didn't even have to believe. It just happened. I didn't even believe it. It happened. And... And now I want to help everyone. I want to help them believe. I want them to make their miracle happen. It happened to me. It can happen to them. It can happen for you if you're watching this. And someday I want everyone to watch this. I, I don't know. Not, not for me. I'm not important, but the feeling is important. I have to make everyone see that it's about it's about knowing that you have value. You have tremendous value and worth. And and whatever it is that you are, people need you. People need you. It doesn't even matter whether they know they need it or not. They just need you there. Even, even the people that hate you, even the people that 
that disgusted, that are disgusted by you, that disgust you, they need you too. They need you to be a part of their life. Otherwise, they wouldn't have something to, to nourish their lives. I, I don't even know how to express it. You're so valuable. And I want to be that. I know now that there are people that need me. It's not just my family that needs me, and they need me. I need my kids. My daughter, who's so beautiful, and she's in culinary school, and everything she touches turns to gold. And my son, and who is destined to be a star. Even if he never gets famous, or if he gets incredibly famous, whatever he does, he's always going to be a star. Because he's got greatness inside him. And I know my youngest, Leo, he's a great kid too. He is, he is special and wonderful, and he's going he's gonna to do fantastic things himself. And everybody, everybody that I know... That everybody that I've ever met that have always told me that, that they like me and they care about me, I've taken them all for granted. My sister, who always believed in me, and, and even though she's got, she's got her own version of what she feels is right for me, she just wants what's right for me. She means well, and, and she loves me, and, you know, I, I, there were so many times when I when I shit on her and when I treated her badly, and she didn't deserve that. She, all she ever did was love me, and and I love her too. And I wish I could make up for all the times that I did her wrong, and I wish I could make up for all the times I hurt my family and my ex wives, and everything. And 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 I wish I could take it all back, but but it's made me who I am now, and it's made them who they are, and. And I'm still, I have a job to do. And now, I now, through all this medium and through all, through this new life, through Petunia, by being Petunia, I am Petunia. I know it sounds silly, but I'm Petunia. I'm, I'm a new person. I'm a new woman. I have all this new love in my heart. And there are other women just like me. But they don't have their miracle yet. They don't have people that support them. And they don't, they don't have the people that inspire them. And they don't have, they don't have, I don't know. And it's not just trans women. It, it isn't, there, there are people that, that just don't have their miracle. And I just want, I want to hug them all, and I want to tell them it's going to be okay. And if it'll make them happy, I'll sing them a song. All you do, all you need is time. Don't give up. Please don't give up. Just please give it some more time. Just breathe, breathe through it, and and try and and just. If, if everything is, is shit storms and hell and horror show and desperation and everything looks just bleak and it looks like there's no way out, it doesn't matter that there's no way out. It doesn't matter. You're here. Do you remember the problems that you had two years ago? You probably had tons of problems two years ago. What the fuck were they? I don't remember mine. Do you really remember yours? You don't. Because you got through them. And you'll get through this. Just stay. Stay and, and be here. And be valuable to the people that know you. That need you so desperately in their lives. <laughs> And that's the story of A Christmas Carol. He was a piece of shit who was once a man who had hopes. All of us, 
all of us have hopes and dreams. Every one of us have hopes and dreams and love. And we get so squashed down by life that so many of us, the, the great vast majority of us turn into pieces of shit that don't care about other people, that don't, that don't know how important it is to just love. People are so mean. People are so mean and full of hate. Ugh. There's so many issues that are so much bigger than me. Racism, sexism, hatred, poverty, wars, money. And it's all because people don't know how to talk to each other. And people don't know how important they are to each other. And that's, that's something I really want in these videos. Part five of this series, I guess. Anyone and everyone watching this, I love you. I love you fiercely. I love you aggressively. I sympathize with what you're going through. I've been... I've been desperate and lonely. I've been lonely in the middle of a room full of people that cared about me and loved me. It took Petunia to show me. It's going to take something big for you, but it's there. It's there and it exists. And how do I, how do I end this? work. Find your miracle. Find it. Even we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Just stay. The first step is just staying. Staying in and breathing. Staying and breathing. God bless us, everyone.